everybody, it's Slug again with a little after video. Um, the last video I did was about my last setup on my PC here, and I've since installed the new parts I was talking about. Um, uh, the last the last score, I believe, was a 2608 on the Firestrike benchmark, and that was ran with a FX6100 processor and an HD7770 uh, graphics card by his brand, HIS. Um, and that was with 8 gigs of Samsung DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. I can't remember the exact uh, exact model number, but uh, this next this this setup here I've got uh, my new parts installed is obviously much better, almost 5,000 on the score. Uh, that's with an AMD Radeon his brand R9270X and an AMD FX8320, which is an 8-core processor. And with G-Skill Sniper RAM uh, that's set at 1866 megahertz. Pretty good RAM on Newegg if you can find it. It's about 80 bucks. The graphics card was about 200, 210 maybe on uh, Newegg. Um, and the the chip here was uh, $134, I believe, on Tiger Direct, which is a really good price for an 8-core processor. Let me show you the exact brand here on the... Uh, there we go. It's it's HIS, his, and it's ISQ X2, Radeon 270X, with 2 gigs of DDR5. Um, pretty good setup. It runs everything pretty, pretty well. I mean, I'm getting... In the video game Rust, I'm getting uh, 80 frames a second on average, and I think I was averaging 40 or so on the last setup, which was still pretty good. And this is on Ultra, of course. Um, uh, everything's stock clocked. Uh, everything's stock clocked. The processor set at 3.5. The stock clock, I haven't overclocked it yet. Uh, the 270X is kind of already overclocked in the first place. That's that's an X as far as I'm, I'm uh, aware um, and the RAM is set to stock as well. Um, so that's it. I mean, every, it plays everything well. I got Skyrim. I ran a Skyrim uh, test on, uh, on Ultra, and I was getting 60 frames a second on Ultra. Uh, so it plays everything real well. It's uh, I'll do some more tests in the future, and uh, if you want to come back and check them out, I'll, I'll post them up in the next few days as well. But I highly recommend every part I've bought. I'm really happy with them. Um, mm -hmm. I was happy with my last setup, but it's, you know, the way the way computers go, uh, it can be great when you buy it, and a year or two from then, it, it, you're you're not too hot to trot anymore. So I decided it was time, and it's a hobby. I enjoy doing this, so I decided it was time for an upgrade. I had a little bit of extra money, and uh, really happy with the results. Um, before I go, I wanted to throw a uh, shout-out to my buddy here, Jay-Z. Uh, check his channel out. He's got some great videos. They're way better than mine. Um, just just better quality all around. He's been doing it a little bit longer. He's a funny guy. He's kind of a little bit of a moron. No, he's really smart. I'm, I'm kidding. He's a really smart guy. He's really funny. Uh, lots of Let's Plays and maybe some other videos thrown in there. But check his channel out. It's Jake Z. And uh, like I said, they're they're above and beyond. These are some of the some of the better Let's Plays that I've ever watched. And I'm not just saying that because he's my buddy. But uh, check them out if you can, and uh, I hope this helps some of you guys out as far as the parts go. Um, thumbs up for me. I'm just some random guy on YouTube, but I, I really like these parts, and I'm really satisfied with the results. I'm going to start doing some overclocking, and I'll be posting more benchmarking and uh, just you know frame test, frame rate testing in the future. And uh, just come back if you get a chance and check them out. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you guys have a great, great day.